Go ahead and rise into the collective. Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content. Tap in with this content, man. But... Today I'm a little bit under the weather, a little congestion, man. I, I don't know what's going on. I've seen a couple people with this. I came through for y'all. Got a cool, it's not too long, not too short, but I appreciate y'all collective. If you haven't subbed up yet and you just come to the channel because you like the vibes, the content, whatever it is, I appreciate you too. So I ain't going to hold you. Let's get straight to the video. Man, let's go. McDonald's. I'm finna crash into it on my mama dramatic crash at a McDonald's in Springfield. Miraculously, the driver was able to get out of the car without help and is recovering from their injuries. Damn, he was serious, bro. Demonic. Aliens visiting Earth from other dimensions shouldn't be engaged with. Are you fucking kidding me? How stupid do you think we are? We barely engage with each other. Do you think that we would engage with something that materializes out of the clear? I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't I don't know who's in charge here. I really don't know who is in charge here. But you need to get the f out. You need to go. We need somebody that has at least half a f***ing brain and could explain why we shouldn't be interacting with demons or beings or whatever the f from other dimensions. Hey, so, hey, look, so don't nobody jump to conclusions. Read what it says behind him. I just read it. He said the government said allegedly Satan like. Again, if they go with Project BB, that ain't going to be at ETs or extraterrestrials coming to do that. That's going to be our people coming to do that. And they're going to send us to a a camp or a certain location where we're gonna feel like less we're gonna feel less than human we're gonna feel like we ain't mankind or we ain't a woman for the women that's in that position so i hear what he's saying but that could also be our government so now we learn from the bible why your map is upside down hello out there in this video, I will be showing you that the East and West that we know of today is different from the East and West in the Bible. Now, this is the first incident in the book of Enoch where I almost gave up on trying to figure it out. I actually put this down because I could not understand it, but the Most High has encouraged me to pick it back up. And he gave me the understanding by opening up a candle of understanding in my heart. And now I will be sharing this with you. And it's coming from the book of Enoch. It says, and at the ends of the earth, I saw 12 portals open to all the quarters of the heavens. These are the four right here. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four quarter. These are the four quarters of the earth. All right. And it said three of them are open on the face, which is the east. All right. This is the face. This is a as say if this is a head, this is the dome, and it's looking at you. So this is the face. So and this is the back of the head. This is the ear on this side, this is the ear on that side. Let's just use that as an example. So we have the east. This is the face. Alright? It says three of them are open on the face. That's the east of the heavens, and three are in the west. Alright? Three in the west. And three on the right, which is the south. See, we have three on the 
right, all right, of heaven, and three on the left, which is the north. That's the left. That's the north. Now, already, when you look at this map or this chart, we see something strange going on here. So if we turn it like this, and we have the east on this side, which we're normally looking at the south is up and the north is down. Therefore, the east and the west is correct through here, but the north and the south is incorrect according to the way we think. But this is the Bible. So even if we turn it this way and put the north at the top, like we're normally used to seeing it, and the south at the bottom, we have the west on the east side, and we have the east on the west side. So where are we going with this? Well, remember all of those videos online when they show the eclipse coming from the west? We see it coming from this way, or same thing here, this way. It is actually coming from the east, because the map has the north at the top and the south has the, at the bottom. And this is biblical. So the eclipse is actually coming from the east, and we think that it is coming from the west, but it is actually coming from the east. So it is coming from this way, which is the east, and it's going this way, and as you can see, America's right here. So we see this eclipse coming from this way, and it's coming from east to west. I'm going to leave that at that. God bless you. Great night or day. Is he reaching? Is he reaching? Let me know. I really want to post this today because I'm a little annoyed. I um, somehow had a page show up on my FYI this morning where this gentleman was spreading lies, misinformation about the Masonic Lodge. And when I piped in and gave him the truth, he blocked me off. Here's the reality, folks. In order to be a Shriner, you have to be a 32nd or 33 degree Mason, okay? My father, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather were all 33 degree Masons. Let me start off by saying my grandfather and great-grandfather do not fall into this category. But my father and every Mason I've met since then falls into the category I'm going to talk about along with my grandmother, who was an Eastern star, who falls into this category as well, okay? Everything that I have been through, everything that I have seen, everyone I have interacted with, every book from the Masonic Lodge I've ever read, all their little secret books I have, because my dad was killed in 2008. So I have a lot of stuff that mm, probably shouldn't have, but I have it and I'm going to keep it, okay? They actually do not believe in God. They worship Satan. And these people that are on, they're trying to tell you that that's not true. It's 100% true. Do your research. Also, they um, monster animals. They monster children. They abuse their women and children. They're alcoholics, they're cheaters, they're demonic, okay? I know that because I'm a victim of that since I was at the age of three. My dad was a Shriner clown. My dad was very prominent in the West Coast Shriners and the Masonic Lodge. My grandmother was an Eastern star, very much involved in the same thing. They tried to indoctrinate me by putting me in Job's Daughters. That didn't work. So they tried to indoctrinate me by putting me in the Rainbow Girls. That didn't work. They tried to indoctrinate me by getting me to date a Demolay boy. That didn't work. I wasn't falling for any of this. I'd already been through all of the abuse, the mistreatment, and all of the rest of it. I have seen it all. My dad was in 2008. And at his funeral was half Masonic, half military. I have never seen anything in my life that was more disgusting than the Masonic service. Talking about how pure and, and 
and amazing and wonderful this person was. Really? <laughs> when they, everyone that was there that did the service knows my father and knows what he did to me and knows the kind of person he is and the kind of person they are because they're doing the same thing. Every one of them. There wasn't one of them that was there that doesn't have a family member that's had the same outcries that I have. So you can block me off of your page. I don't really care. You could block me off your lives. I really don't care about that either because I'm going to always speak the truth. I am a victim of the Masonic Lodge. I am a victim of the Shriner Clowns. I am a victim of the Masons. And they are satanic. They are horrible people. And they hurt their family and their children. And if you don't like what I'm saying, that's fine. I don't care. I got the receipts. All of them. So block me off your page. Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. And you know what? I can tell you who my father is. And I could tell you the three lodges that are involved. And I could tell you the 250 masons that are involved. But you know what? <laughs> believe what you choose to believe. But the Masonic Lodge is satanic. They have satanic rituals. And their families are victims. I said what I said. Have a good day. Man, if she was a victim and that was all facts, prayers to her, man. She shouldn't have to go through nothing like that. Now, my granny was an Eastern star. My great-grandmother. When I asked my grandmother, I asked her, I said, so when she was an Eastern star, how was that? she tell you anything? She said she never told us nothing. So, what, like four siblings? They never. She never told my my great aunts and my great uncles nothing or my great or my grandmother never told them nothing now she she had the tassel she had a tassel she had some few items but nothing would like nothing that really like took me for one but i used to want the tassels and all that because it was hers but i asked my grandmother one thing i said what do you remember about that and would you had joined and my grandmother said no I was never interested. She never pushed it on us. She never forced it on us. Nothing. What she did was what she did. She never let it come home. Like nothing that whatever she was doing out in the street or out there at the lodges never came home. She always kept it separate. And she did say she used to go to initiations and that she used to come back sore. Rest in peace to my great grandmother, man. She changed my life, helped me, helped raise me a lot turn me to who I am today but what's crazy is we always went to church too though like my great my grandmother been in church since she was young and she said they had to be there every Sunday my granny would help with the church but she still was an eastern star and yeah they start to go through uh bible study they were there every day of the week pretty much this is what my grandmother says and my grandmother pushed religion on the family super hard not pushed it but she got us into it so it was just like, yeah, I got so many questions with my great grandmother as far as the Eastern Star. Now, Masons, I don't know too much about them. I might have knew one, but I never asked him nothing about it because I don't want to be disrespectful. And I don't, I know a lot of people got bad uh, perspectives on them. So when I ask, I'm purely curious. Not that I want to join. I'm just asking. And I don't want to come off like how everybody else come at him. You feel what I mean? But hey. For y'all for y'all in the comments who know what she's talking about, man, spam it up the information y'all know. Like if she's reaching, if she not, if you know, even if she's seen this, man, I, again, I hope you good. I think it's just going to get weirder and weirder and weirder, and finally it's going to be so weird that people are going to have to talk about how weird it is. I look for the invention of artificial life, the cloning of human beings, uh, possible contact with extraterrestrials, possible human immortality, and at the same time, appalling acts of brutality, genocide, race baiting, uh,
famine, starvation. The mushroom said to me once, it said, this is what it's like when a species prepares to depart for the stars. You don't depart for the stars under calm and orderly conditions. It's a fire in a madhouse. And that's what we have, the fire in the madhouse at the end of time. This is what it's like when a species prepares to move on to the next dimension. Yo, I'm not one to do this much. Hey, hey, that movie, uh, Blink Twice, it's disgusting, bro. The, I, I, bro, I'm not even saying this as like, uh, bro, disgusting. There was a point in the movie, there was a point in the movie that, it, you know, it was super cinematic, very, very artistic. Um, so I was, I was with the expectation, like, oh, this could be a good movie. I love the movies. I love the experience of the movie theater, okay? I love it. I, I love this stuff. And I'm watching, I'm watching, and there gets to a point where, where all the girls are forgetting uh, little moments, and they would wake up with, like, dirt under their nails, or, like, um, they would get with bruises and stuff like that. And there's a moment that one of the one of the girls gets a flashback of what's really going on, and and they're, um, they're getting, mm, you know, I don't want to say it so it doesn't block it, but they're, they're getting, mm -hmm, and they're forgetting it. But it was a disgusting movie disgusting like i i left honestly i i left i left shook i left like ugh like my mind saw something that ew like i shouldn't have seen you know what i mean it felt like that it felt disgusting um and it's crazy because i know i know some people it's a rated r movie but the fact that that's in the movies i, I, don't, I don't understand I just, it's just so demonic, so demonic. You guys remember the, the movie, uh, The Sound of Freedom? That, that was a great movie, and, and it, was, it was a lot, it was a lot, you know? But the movie, the, the heart of the movie was to create awareness to what's really going on. In comparison to, for example, Blink Twice, it, it, it was just done for pure entertainment. It's just disgusting how, how these things are just under our nose and we're okay with these things, you know? And so I, I just want to shoot this video because if there was, if there's somebody that's trying to go see it and maybe they cro come across this video, don't see it. I, I'm telling you, just just don't see it. Like, your heart doesn't need that. Your mind doesn't need that. I, I literally got out of the got out of the movie theater as soon as I saw those. I'm like, I know where this thing is going. I walked out, but I prayed. I played the blood of Jesus over me. I I asked the Lord to just um just remove any images from my mind. It was like a it, it was it was just a lot. It was, it was honestly a lot. I was shook. I I was shook. I can't believe that this movie was that. You know. So um I don't know. I've been going to the movies a lot, and so I just wanted to to um, give you guys some insight on that because, man, sheesh, sick. A sick, sick story plot, sick. Just not it, not it. I ain't seen it yet. Y'all let me know if y'all seen it. Cyberdyne has entered the chat. So what I just watched is absolutely, I, 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 there, I have no word. So I just watched this video on YouTube. It's also here on TikTok by the Door Brothers, D-O-R Brothers. Um, the one here on TikTok is obviously um, somewhat protected, but the one on YouTube has music and everything, and it's not so protected. This video has probably about the past five to 10 years of political figures featured in it, or scenes that I don't want to talk about, or I'm probably going to get flagged. But you need to watch it because you're going to come to realize that if the average Joe could develop and generate this type of AI video, there's no telling what the people at the top are doing. And what on earth do we really see on the news that is legit? I don't know. What do you guys think? Watch the video, come back and comment. I, I think we're done. Um, how are we ever going to find out and understand what we're watching is real or AI? It's not good, guys. It's not good. So there are 45,000 transmit receive modules, and this uh, antenna can detect an object the size of a baseball at a range of 2,500 miles. That is why I say this thing can project all that power into a pinpoint beam totally computer controlled the dome is 120 foot diameter the power source is six 3.6 megawatt generators for a total of almost 22 megawatts 
and this carbon platform has a tow ship to move it around. So that 22 megawatts is not actually designed to go into the engines. That is designed to go into the transmitter unit. Uh, other U.S. Navy ships have powerful microwave transmitters. This is the U.S. Navy ship Howard O. Lorenzen. It looks small, but it's actually 534 feet long. Each phased array, the boxes on the top of the deck, uh, is a phased array transmitter. Synthetic aperture radar, whatever you want to call it, weighs 250 tons. And there's a crew of 88 on board. This is a gigantic ionospheric heater again. Did Drake just admit to selling his soul? Did Drake reveal his secrets or selling his soul in his concert? It starts with him sitting on a bed as a young teenager growing up on his favorite shows like Family Matters and Fresh Pins of Bel-Air. We then see the transition into stardom where we see his role in Degrassi. After that, he goes to bed, still a young teenager. The lights turn off and there's a spotlight. Jumping and flying and dancing around the spotlight is this shadow demon looking figure. starts to fly around him and multiple different spirits are spawned creating a circle which eventually creates a portal. I might come in your cell. I got two knives. I slide you one say nigga fight for your ass. That's how that shit going. Um, as, as big and strong as I am, as much as I feel like I could take any, I, honestly, I got this delusional shit in my head. I feel like I could take any man, like, me and you, this right, this tight shit, this be enough to make, bro, I'm never going to prison, bro. <laughs> Imagine being handed a knife, saying, look, if you lose, I'm taking that booty. Somebody in the <laughs> Somebody in the comment section said, man, just take it, right? And I'm not saying I agree, but what I'm saying is I'm not well-versed in knife fighting. And imagine, okay, you go ahead and you fight. You you get stabbed up, you stab him up, right? But you still lose. <laughs> now, now you bleed, you know, and he taking your booty. All at the same time. Man, this is why, this is why I believe it when people say, man, if people keep going back to prison, they got a boyfriend in there. If he keep going back, he has a boyfriend in there. That is no place for humans, dog. That's a place, if you got a face tattoo, okay, man, maybe you survive. You already don't care about nothing. But for the rest of us, bro, let's just stay free, bro. Let's keep shit real cool, calm, and collected out here. Because if somebody slide me a knife and say, fight for your ass. I might just take myself out right there. F it. I'm not. I, why am I fighting for it? Why do I have to fight for it? It's mine. All right. To my people out there in Chicago, or even if you just familiar with this, would you rather that scenario or would you rather a savage life scenario? <laughs> and to my people who don't know what savage life is, just go, just go to TikTok. Go to YouTube, type in Savage Life. Just type in Savage Life. You're going to come up with an interview of Rico. He should be able to tell you the rest from there. It is nothing pleasant. I don't pray. Hey, look, and hold on. If you if you uh, violate kids or women, how about we do, we send them to, them to prison? We send them to them places. We have him interact with the people who are going to slide him the knife and be like, hey, look, it's either you win this, or show, where's your ass? <laughs>
people who violate kids and ch children and women. Man, you guys send them there and make them do that. And then make them choose Savage Life or the other way. Hey, spam whatever if you agree with me. I think that's a great ass, that's a great idea for the people who be doing that. That's my opinion. Let me know what y'all feel. And also, to those people, to my people in Chicago, I don't think it's right No Limit Cairo got caught before he could retaliate on the uh, Venezuelan gangs out there when they took one of his homies. Free No Limit Cairo. If y'all don't know about that, supposedly he got caught with a, allegedly, he got caught with a switch and in a stolen vehicle looking to retaliate to get revenge back for his friend who was taken by one of the, the Venezuelan immigrants that's a gang now out there in Chicago. I seen that yesterday, today's Sun today, Saturday, I seen that on Friday. So if that is true and allegedly he was on that, how do they stop him from doing that but they can't stop it on a regular basis when stupid shit be happening? Are y'all protecting the Venezuelan gangs? Hey, I'm just asking. Free no limit Cairo though. To look like you care for the environment. Part one, get your friend to film you filling up rubbish bags with sticks. Part two, now pull off an Oscar winning performance of you struggling in the wind. Three, celebrate your good deed by doing a shitty dance. Part four, leave rubbish bags behind once you're done. They just left the bag the bag there. They do always leave stupid bags like they need to clean up the rubbish. I've been watching this for like ten years. What is your obsession of the year? Zac Efron is my obsession. He's here. What you don't know is that Zac Efron and I are the same person. We're not here. We're not actually here. It's like Janet and Michael. We are the same person. He just puts on his wig and a dress, and it's me, and you don't know that, and it's the greatest ruse of all time. I never told him what he did. And then one day I asked someone in the circle, Imelda, Joaquin's mother. I asked Imelda, I said, is he the Antichrist? I was 13 years old. She didn't even blink. She said, no, but he will present the mark. And when you see him do that, the Antichrist will take the stage. Now here we are, 40 years later, boom, that boy is the star of the world. The boy's name then was El Elyon. It's changed over time, and I see that way everywhere, and the world adores him, but he's the king of Babylon. This video of Usher is going viral online at one of his performances, and I'm not sure what's going on here, but let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Look, I'm starting to understand and starting to think that sometimes those performers don't be those performers. They be putting lookalikes in the clones and just don't have a voice or whatever the case is. They be putting them up there. Because that couldn't have been Usher, bro. Sounding like that. If people didn't ask more questions, bro, then that means, hey, maybe they was just, I don't know. Because that's clear as day. That didn't sound like no Usher, bro. Usher been kind of moving weird lately. In the clip before that, when you see about uh, Elon Musk, how y'all feel? I think she either telling the truth or she just throwing dirt on his name because she can't. I don't know. Elyon, that name sound like it could mean something way more than what it mean. For the lady not to blink and say no, but he'll present the mark. And then the anti-cars will pop up. Mm. Who y'all think popped up? We had a few people pop up, but who y'all think she talking about with that one though? Let's not get sidetracked on Elon Musk. Let's focus on who she really talking about here. So who y'all think it is? I found out that you can regrow your teeth with frequencies. Whether Ryan Smith takes a puck to the face. Listen and to yes, this. Those are his teeth. It's, it's too late for Smith's smile. But researchers at the University of Alberta 
could have a cure for future toothless hockey grins. Interesting. An ultrasound device that regrows human teeth. Tariq Albiali was researching jaw growth in rabbits. Accidentally, when I applied the ultrasound, I found the Just lower listen. incisors grow, grow, grow. Albiali is the first to try the treatment on humans. After 20 minutes a day, new teeth started to grow in a month. With this device, we get these roots together, help them together. So now my only question will be, if you can regrow your teeth using frequency ultrasound, then why aren't we doing that today? Just imagine, you can still have your pearly white teeth without the surgery, without having to spend 80 bands on veneers or dentures. Now let me know in the comments though, what y'all think about this and regrowing teeth with ultrasound? Is this facts or is they cap? Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Remember, if y'all want to talk on how to blow up on social media and get paid from it, how many of y'all will regrow your teeth with an ultrasound frequency? I for damn sure. Instead of going to the dentist as many times as I've had to go to growing up, my top and my oh bro, I for sure would have went. I for sure do it to this day. Bro, that's that's so convenient. Hey, I man, dentist uh teeth, man, this is what my mom used to tell me. My mama used to say, teeth cost more than rent. <laughs> she ain't lying, bro. Them shits be hitting. They be hitting. They they be hitting in them dentist offices. But the clip before that, when we talked, when they showed the uh, Olympics and they was doing the, the hand signs and the signals with their arms, satanic rituals, symbols and stuff like that, they just start chemtrailing again out here. If you're from SAC, you know. It just started him trailing a lot. Before that, I think they was doing it overnight or before the sun came up. But now, they're doing it a little bit during the day. They ain't doing it in a couple days. But one of them symbols, I'm telling y'all, had the sim. One of the chemtrails, the way they chemtrailed, had that same symbol. If I'm reaching, hey, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Straight up. Let me know if y'all ever seen that. I'd seen it in the sky. They put, they were flying it in that when they were done, the symbol resembled that. I swear on everything I love. Tell me if you've ever seen it. I don't care if nobody believe me. I'm just telling you what I saw. And somebody's going to say they saw that too before. Now, I don't know if that was by coincidence or by chance. But me, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in by chance and it happened for a reason. To me, they did that on purpose. I, I, I care less somebody say I'm reaching with this one. The United States government may have made a deal with aliens. Watch this. The treaty stated, the aliens would not interfere in our affairs and we would not interfere in theirs. We were particularly interested that they do not interfere with anything that would affect our future. We would keep their presence on Earth a secret. They would furnish us with advanced technology and would help us in our technological development. They would not make any treaty with any other Earth nation. They could abduct humans on a limited and periodic basis for the purpose of medical examination and monitoring of our development with the stipulation that the humans would not be harmed, would be returned to their point of abduction, that the humans would have no memory of the event, and that the alien nation would furnish MJ-12 with a list of all human contacts and abductees on a regularly scheduled basis. It was agreed that each nation would receive the ambassador of the other for as long as the treaty remained in force. It was further agreed that the alien nation in the United States would exchange 16 personnel each to the other with the purpose of learning each of the other. The alien guests would remain on Earth and the human guests would travel to the alien point of origin for a specified period of time, then return. Years old. This is going to sound very, very crazy. I'm already like 3,000 years old right now. I just tell people I'm 33 because I don't age. I'm immortal. There's nothing new under the sun. My mother had the angel was born in the mortal and ain't even know it. If it a lot of people watched this clip and thought he was joking, capping, just laughing it off. But everything he said is pure facts. See that in the Nephilim, you read the book of Enoch, it talks about how the giants, the fallen angels, had sex with a woman and conceived forth giants. Okay, those spirits, those Nephilim spirits are still on earth today. Matter of fact, what he was just speaking through was a Nephilim spirit. He could possibly 100% be of the Nephilim fallen angel seed bloodline. It's not a joke, guys. This is a real world we're living in. Not everybody you see is human. I tell people this all the time. They just laugh it off like it's the game. Five 
five years, we're going to see 415,000 low orbit satellites. Bill Gates says his 65,000 satellites alone will be able to look at every square inch of the planet 24 hours a day. They're putting in 5G to harvest our data and control our behavior. Digital currency that will allow them to punish us from a distance and cut off our food supply. Passports. My backyard. Hey, chill, hey, hey, chill, homie. What? A body. Hey, fam, I don't know what you got going on, but you in my yard. I got kids in here, man. Hey, so I got some people from Chicago. To my knowledge, he was on a hunt and somebody was back there running that he was hunting down. And that's what he mean by, it was a body back there. I'm back here looking for it. It's me, somebody was back here running. I was chasing bro. And I was just trying to find him. I ain't mean no harm. And when I respect dude when he said, I got kids in here, dude took off. Nothing less to talk about. Let me go the other way, bro. All right, say less. If that body ain't here, you dealing with it, but I'm not. I tried to help you out. That's what I got from it. That's just the way of life in certain areas. I ain't passing no judgment. It is what it is. I think we got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Shit, we seen them, hey, them immigrants is over there across the street from one of them people neighbors, and they all like a, a hundred, more than a hundred of them up in one house. That's all I'm saying. We got bigger shit to fry, bigger fish to get to. But yeah, that's my knowledge. So those who didn't understand what was going on, and if I'm wrong to anybody in Chicago, man, let me know if I'm wrong. But that's what I was told by some of my people from Chicago. That's what that means. But let me know. Let me know. Finding her dark ties anymore. So Megan the Stallion just dropped a new music video, and the symbolism is dark. Very dark. She literally turns into a serpent, and she consumes. What do you think she's trying to men. tell us? Then you have her dancing in front of a blood moon, and if you know anything about blood moon rituals, this has a lot of symbolism in itself. There's a lot of other little things in the music video. You can go watch it if you want, but this is the same person who was dancing at a Camila Harris rally, helping her to get votes. And then watching. she just drops this song. Weird. I mean, I get it. Let me tell y'all true story. Be so boom, watch this video to the end. Charleston White. You know, we thought you was a real one. You spoke on a lot of good things. You know, a lot of things we didn't agree with. <laughs> Shh. Shut up. But it's come to my attention that I know exactly who you sh. Everything is just fine. <laughs> Stop playing with me, son. TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> you really thought you was going to get past me with this one? You've been fooling every... Shut up! You had us all going. You actually say some good stuff. <laughs> Surprisingly, you came out of nowhere. Right? All of a sudden. <laughs> a sh Shut up! Share this, do it, and stitch it. Do what you gotta do with it, guys. This is crazy. <laughs> Come! You know, in this game of musical chairs, <laughs> you never know who's gonna become who. Sh Shut up! <laughs> you do a lot of interviews, man. <laughs> Who would have thought that you've been here for a long time? This is crazy. But don't worry about it, because true story, shh. Shut up. <laughs> Come. 
What more can I say? Because, you know, there's not much to say. Stop playing with me, son. TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. Everything is just fine. <laughs> Woo! It's too early for this. Look at the resemblance. I ain't got to really say anything. And if you can't see it, then you just can't see nothing at this point. <laughs> it's right in front of your face. You was a real one. <laughs> for the moment, not anymore. But I tell you one thing, if I ever see Charleston White in public and I show him this picture and he puts a certain type of face, <laughs> I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Linen sheets, that's what they used to use back in the 1900s, linen sheets. They knew that it would heal you faster because of all the light frequency coming off the linen. So they put people on the linen sheets, they'd get them out real quick. Now, DuPont plastic, that's what people are wrapped in, which builds up a whole bunch of static, makes them more sick over time. Linen is the original way to go. If you're not sleeping in linen sheets and you're suffering from restless leg syndrome, it could be fixed like that with just a little bit of linen. And the cool thing is, once you buy linen, you don't got to buy them again. They last a lifetime. Like, you don't need to keep buying more sheets because you already got sheets. That's the cool part about quality and buying quality. I highly recommend everybody go into this book. You know, if you're suffering from one of the big such as the big C, maybe any heart-related issues, maybe ringing of the ears, this is a book to look into. Electricity and radio frequencies can play a big role in and since we're being bombarded with this nonsense, and it's all over the place, this is a great book to jump into. Okay, so that's... If y'all want to know that book, I just kind of had to, you know, re read it in reverse. It looked like it said The Invisible Rainbow. I never heard of it, but I'm going to have to check it out. Never knew that about linen sheets either. I had to pick between the two. Would y'all rather be in the hood late at night or the country late at night? Does anybody else laugh in Appalachian Mountains when they see this shit right here? I've seen the stitches. You guys are absolutely correct. I have never seen one person yet stitch this video and say that they would rather be in the hood than in the country after dark. So let me let me remind you guys something. The Appalachian Mountains are the oldest mountains. These mountains were the mountains of Pangaea. So if there was ever a part of the United States that is old, ancient, is and, and is holding on to some shit. Ooh, and cue the birds listening to me. Yeah, there's so much weird shit that goes on out here. We all have a rule. We don't go outside after dark. If you've seen something in these woods after dark, no, you f didn't. And I will go to any part of these United States after dark. Not this. Absolutely not. I would have to say I probably would agree with her. In mo most horror films, you don't see horror films start off in the hood. <laughs> You don't see sci-fi films start off in the hood. That's that's just one example. For two, you got more ignorance and people who may not have who will take. You got to deal with more dumb shit from people, from an actual physical uh, being when you in the hood. You got to worry about like human shit. But when you go out there, bro, there's shit that you can't explain. Shit that don't hit the news. Stuff that people wouldn't believe if they didn't see. And even if they see it, they still won't believe it. I've heard some of the craziest stories about living in the middle of nowhere. So I'm got to say she damn right. Let me know if y'all disagree. If you think the hood got more shit. Because I would say no, bro. Sometimes the hood is cool. Sometimes when you in your hood, sometimes y'all know the hood can be super cool. You just around your people. You know everybody around there. It's simple. Unless you see shit like people that... Men I like your side, come pull up. Like, then you got to duck. It's human shit you got to deal with. Ignorance. Low vibrational beings. You deal with low vibrational beings out there too in the middle of nowhere. But you know what I mean. That's a whole different battle. Like, you got a spirit. You got a demon. You got skinwalkers. You got probably Sasquatch and, and Bigfoots and all types of shit. Vampire. I don't know, bro. I'm just throwing shit out. But I would say rural areas, the country, past dark. Particularly the Appalachian Mountains, like she said, just off hearing stories, she ain't lying. Let me know what y'all feel. People, so in my video regarding Nazia Harris, a lot of you guys are asking, can I get some more details? And so um, this is 
um, on Google Maps. And what I'm getting is around Indiana Avenue and the house that's about to come up. I, this is the vision that I keep seeing. I keep seeing, because I kept seeing like that balcony. And I'm gonna show you in a few minutes um, when I show you the back of the house, it's like a white shed that I kept seeing as well. So they need to go around this area. And then I didn't mention this in my previous video, but um, I kept hearing the word Slauson and I still keep hearing it while I'm looking into her and she's saying Slauson. And the only thing that I could find was Slauson Middle School and Slauson High School. So if anybody knows what this means, if it's somewhere in Detroit that means something, please put it in the comments because she will not stop saying that word. And so y'all see that little white building, that little shed back there? That stands out a lot to me too. So I just kept going through and this is what I came up with. So check this area. This, I'm here pumping gas at a 7-Eleven. This is absurd. Some Jimmy Buffett looking dude just came walking up to me. He was wearing like these short shorts with a, uh, a flowered shirt. He says, what's up, my man? So freaking strange. And he handed me a thumb drive, and he put it in my hand, and he held my hand for a second. Then he pointed to the sky and said, this is for you. What the f*** is this about? That is interesting. I cannot wait. To so the beginning of that clip was starting off cool, but the music was like overdoing what he's talking about, and you can't really hear him. All he said was a document. His friend was bringing over with a printed copies of what was on the flash drive. And what was on the flash drive was a document of aliens and werewolves. And that's all he really said. It was a long video of nothing. Just letting y'all know. So if y'all find a real video with no music, go check it out. But y'all know we made it to the end of this. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content. Tap in with this content. But I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I appreciate you for being here, even if you ain't subbed up. And you just like coming to the channel, like the content, whatever the case is. I appreciate you too. And until I see y'all in the next one, man, y'all know what it is. We gone. Yeah, yeah, mm, I just check my count. Check, sheesh, at the amount. You probably know what I'm